Hi, this is Miriam Castilla and welcome to the Manifesting Playground for Soulful Women in Business, the place where we practice the art and science of effectology, which is all about marrying the magical with the practical so you can have more money and more time the easy way without all the hustle. Are you bullshitting yourself about being in alignment? Yeah, sorry, I just had to come straight out and ask that. See, there's a lot of people going around who go, oh, alignment, alignment, I know exactly what I'm doing. But the bottom line is that they're still not fulfilled in their life. They don't have the things that they want. They don't feel that life is a beautiful place to be. They're still experiencing a gap. They're still aware of a whole lot of stuff in their life that they're really not wanting there and they want to get rid of it. So let's talk about how to actually figure out whether or not you are in alignment so that you're not just bullshitting yourself and time passes and you think mm, it's getting harder and harder to keep up the charade. So there are two ways to know whether or not you are in vibrational alignment with that highest part of you, with that amazing intelligence that creates the entire universe so that things can flow to you in perfect harmony and perfect timing. Number one is have a look around you. Is life pretty damn good? Or is life still full of stuff that you don't really want, that you actually don't want to be in alignment with? And the thing is that if you're not in alignment with it, it cannot be a part of your reality. It cannot be a part of your experience because the law of resonance won't allow it to come near you. So if you're surrounded by a whole lot of stuff that you'd rather get rid of and not have in your life, that's a sign that you're probably not in alignment, even if you think you are. And the second way to tell whether or not you are in alignment is simply by how you feel. Now, the thing is, most people are pretty good at fooling themselves and ignoring and pushing down how they truly feel. You know, they spruik affirmations, they write their goals, they you know, listen to certain things over and over again, but it's just surface level stuff and they're actually suppressing how they truly feel inside. It's not really working because the 98% of them that is unconscious is still running the show and creating the reality that is all around them. And yes, that reality is constantly shifting and changing. So, you know, when you are consciously creating, you have to be willing to go, okay, what is actually here right now is old news. I'm going to create something new and that's what's happening in this moment. I'm creating my next moment. But if your next moment keeps resembling your previous moment and that just keeps happening over and over again for one, two, three, four, five, ten, twenty 10, 20 years, then you're not really creating a new reality. You're creating the same reality over and over again and you're just BSing yourself along the way by ignoring the way you truly feel at the unconscious level. So this may be pushing some buttons and that's totally cool because I'm here to wake people up. I'm not here to help people keep bullshitting themselves. If you'd like to get better at tuning in so that you can start creating the reality you really do want, then the easiest way to do that is to simply start becoming better at listening to your body because the body does not lie. The body is the unconscious mind, right? So you can do simple things like muscle testing. You know, this little trick is a really good one. So the body responds instantly to your state of vibration, your emotional state. So when you're strong, your body is strong. When you're not strong, your body gets weak. So just this little hold, this little finger hold is a great way to check in. Do make sure that you set it up really well. If you haven't done this sort of thing before, or you're not really comfortable with kinesiology, or you don't even know what the hell I'm talking about, what is this thing she's doing, then do it another way. For example, if you think you're pretty well aligned with the vibration of abundance and money, then just note right now, take a nice deep breath in, get yourself settled into your body so you're really aware of how it feels right here, right now, and notice what you feel and where you feel it when I say the word money. Now, there will be some reaction in your body. And maybe when we're just talking and I'm saying, yeah, yeah, and your money and your this and that and money and money, you're just not tuning in enough. But when we actually slow down and you 
decide that you're going to notice, you will notice a reaction. And that is simply your, your current most powerful association to that topic, to the topic of money. And that means that that is currently your predominant vibration. So your body doesn't lie. Learn to listen to your body, learn to really read it and pay attention. And then you can start making the changes so that you actually are in alignment with the vibration of abundance and all the things you want. And then your reality will start to shift. And then those two things, what have you got and how do you feel, will actually match the outcome you're looking to get. Awesome. I'm going to leave you with that. I'd love to hear how you went and what your thoughts are and what came up for you. So please feel welcome to comment below or send me an email or whatever you prefer. But I'd love to hear what that brought up for you. And until next time, keep on embracing your beautiful and unlimited potential. Bye for now.